Well, hi everyone, it's me, Chris, and as things are now, I get about 20 or so comments and questions about photography every day on my YouTube channel. I try and answer as many as I can, but some of them are so frequently asked that I thought I'd do a frequently asked questions video, see if I can help you out with all your questions about photography, cameras, gear, equipment, some questions about me. Um, let's get into it. Okay, Victor Schickman, that's a cool name, writes, I was wondering if you'd consider doing a review on your favourite tripods and monopods in a reasonable price range. Uh, when it comes to other equipment other than camera lenses, um, probably not really. I just don't have that much time to do loads of reviewing, to review all kinds of different equipment. This is actually just my hobby. I'm just obsessed with camera lenses, so I don't have huge loads of um, tripods lying around the place. I'm not that much of an authority, to be honest. Um, I'd say go and check out Dave Dugdale, someone like that. Uh, there are loads of fantastic YouTube channels that cover uh, other equipment apart from lenses. I'm just a lens guy, I'm crazy about lenses. Okay, Victor Schickman again, uh, quite a fan, I appreciate it. Um, I think doing a series on older manual lenses would be fantastic. Um, yeah, I'm tempted some, I have been tempted to do old manual lenses, old legacy lenses before, and I have done one or two that really grabbed my attention. The thing is, um, to my mind, the market is just flooded with these very, very old cheap lenses like old Olympus 50mm um, f1.8 lenses and things like that. And um, Some of them are gems, but on the whole they're just not as sharp as modern lenses, especially if you're, you're talking about using it on a modern high resolution APS-C digital camera. It really is best to go with uh, newer lenses, I find. Although I do have a review of the Helios 44.2 coming out soon. But apart from that, no, I don't really have any plans to go through loads and loads of really old lenses. Um, sorry. Olaf L says, when will you get the new Sigma 150-600? And Assad the Great says, uh, could you possibly get your hands on and review the Sigma 200-500mm to millimeter f2.8? No. Uh, where am I going to get that from? Remember, this is all coming out of my own money. I beg, borrow and steal and hire lenses. Well, I don't steal, by the way. Uh, lenses for testing. I couldn't possibly source a Sigma 200 to 500, I'm afraid, because it costs about $16,000. Um, I'd love to, if anyone has one to lend me, I'm always up for that. If anyone has any really nice lenses to lend me, yeah, great. Um, when it comes to my camera lenses and where they come from, like I said, I borrow them from friends. I uh, buy and sell on eBay an awful lot. Uh, I hire lenses. I always make sure that they're good copies of the lenses. Although occasionally I get decented ones. I try and uh, explain that in a video if that happens. Um, so that's where I get my lenses from. I don't have a huge stash of shells and shells of expensive camera lenses just lying around ready for some burglar to come and take them all. Unfortunately, I, I just don't have that much money. Not yet, anyway. Okay, Yunus Kellick says, Chris Cardes, Photograph Resum, Kekmekisim, Canon, 600D Mi, Yoksa, Nikon, D, okay, uh, Bana Hingisini. Questions in a foreign language? Okay, I can cope with because of Google Translate, that's all right. This is a question about a Nikon um, camera. Some, sometimes people ask me about Nikon, some people ask me about Sony, and I just don't use them. I don't use Nikon or Sony. I've got no issue with Nikon or Sony. I'm not one of these crazy fanboys. Uh, the way I see it in the market, you know, some years Canon are doing better sensors, some years Nikon, seem, Nikon sensors seem to be better at the moment. Canon cameras in a bit of a lull at the moment, I think, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I've got nothing against Nikon. Uh, I just don't use them. Victor Sankos says, Hi, I love your videos. I only have one question. Uh, and then he goes on to ask quite a good question, but I can't reply to it because there's no little reply box in my feed. This is becoming a common problem. Uh, it's something to do with the settings on Google+. Plus. About 10% of questions people ask me, sometimes really good questions, I just can't reply to because your Google+, Plus settings need to be changed. Amit Lahiri says, can you do a compare video, Canon 10, 18, 10 to 22 and Takina? Okay, comparison videos. Of, after I got this little message, I actually did um, an ultra wide angle lens comparison video. I've been doing a few comparison videos, um, doing a big battle between 50 millimeter lenses and super zoom lenses and um, 
uh, ultra wide angle lenses. So take a look at my uh, page, my uh, home page on YouTube to see all my recommended lenses pages and um, uh, that playlist. So yeah, I don't tend to do, I get a lot of uh, questions of people asking me, can you compare these two lenses? Can you make a whole video comparing um, this crazy lens from 1987 with this lens from uh, 2001 and can you do all this? And I just don't have time for loads and loads of individual uh, comparison videos. It takes a long time really. Um, so that's why uh, my YouTube channel is quite standardized. You'll see the same sharpness test across all my videos. So that's as standardized as I could get it really. So you, you can basically look at two videos next to each other and try and compare the sharpness. BPLOL says, love your videos, but I'm going crazy with this song, Always the Same. And Max's Discos, this turned into a discussion, said, are you ever gonna turn the music off? Well, okay, sorry guys, I, I, I've turned the music down now. There were some of my earlier videos where the music's really loud. It's annoying even to me. You live and learn. Uh, I've, I like having a bit of background music in the videos because it, it fills things out. Uh, just like background music at a party, so long as it's nice and quiet and it's not distracting. And it, it covers up all my multiple sound engineering sins, or any kind of hissing or poor quality um, microphone sound. I don't have an expensive microphone or anything. So yeah, the background music is staying, but it, I'm not gonna turn. I've turned the volume down for people. Sorry about that. Okay, Tony Zuz says, I have a Canon 550D, will this lens fit? Um, right, when it comes to lens compatibility, if you own a Canon APS-C camera, then this phrase will help you. Any Canon mount lens made since 1987 will work on your Canon APS-C camera, except for EFM lenses. So if you have a Canon APS-C camera, congratulations, your compatibility is really good. Okay, Zachary Benton is commenting on one of my uh, videos, one of my Christian videos. He's saying, I understand that this is something you're interested in, but it would be nice if you separated these types of videos and placed them on another channel. Okay, I'm not really going to be doing that. I mean, my own belief is that it's really good just to have free speech and for people just to share what they think, what they believe. That's what YouTube's all about. At the end of the day, it's my YouTube channel and I know it's called Christopher Frost Photography, but it's about all aspects of my life and work, really. Um, that's always been my aim for my YouTube channel just to cover everything. I know some people aren't really interested in watching videos on other subjects uh, aside from photography, and that's fine. If a video comes up in your feed that you don't want to watch, just don't watch it. Uh, it's free country, just don't watch it and wait for another photography video to come along, which I'm sure won't take long. The reason why I talk about my faith openly is because I think it's a wonderful thing. I love telling people about my relationship with God. It's what has given me new life and um, yeah, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Bluefire444 says, are you Welsh? I've been seeing those flags in a few of your videos. Uh, I'm not Welsh myself, I'm originally from England, but I've lived in Wales for about 13 years now. Well, I spent, I spent one and a half years in South Korea, but I've just lived in Wales for a really long time. I've settled down here, I love this country, I love its people. Uh, I like the Welsh language. Dwi'n siarad Cymraeg yn da. Dwi ddim yn siarad Cymraeg yn da. I really don't speak much Welsh at all. Um, yeah, I'm English, sorry. Some people ask if the sample pictures you see in my reviews are shot on an APS-C or full frame camera. So these are the background pictures and background videos in my reviews taken with the lens in question, which I like to put in there because they look pretty in the background and they give you an idea of the kind of images lenses can give you. Uh, the general rule of thumb is that if a lens is a full frame camera lens, then the background pictures you see are taken on a full frame camera. If it's an APS-C lens, then obviously uh, they can only be APS-C pictures. So I'll normally write little notes in the description, read the description. Uh, if you have any further questions, you might find your answer there. Alexis Haji Soteriu says, I applied this hack to my 70 to 200 F4L lens and I now have two red rings. You should have seen the faces of the pros at the end of the catwalk at a recent fashion show that I shot. I've had some interesting comments on the older uh, lens hacking video I made a couple of years ago. 
Um, go right ahead and take a look at that and leave a comment yourself if you like. Some quite angry people there. Um, it was funny though, it was worth it. Well that's about it for my frequently asked questions, I hope you found that interesting. Maybe it's even answered something that's been on your mind. I'm going to finish this video off now with a few of my favourite pictures that I've ever taken um, just for your interest, just to share with you. Hope you enjoy them. Ciao. God bless.